Right now, bullying may have more psychological impacts on victims than ever before. That's according to 20 years of studies compiled by researchers at Oak Ridge National Lab. Reporter Shannon Smith met with the researcher who hopes his work can help combat bullying from a medical perspective. Shannon. John, education and psychological researchers have been studying bullying for years. Computer scientists are now stepping into that realm and they're using software to take a deeper look at those broader impacts of bullying. Bullying is not new, but it doesn't have a long history of being researched, especially not by computer scientists. Computer science domains advanced data analytics feature could help researchers to find actually in depth of uh, bullying. That's what ORNL researcher SM Shamamul Hassan decided to do. He took thousands of academic papers about bullying starting in 1995 and ran them through a literature-based discovery software. We started with uh, our keyword bullying and after that we have found that a uh, number of uh, various concepts are co-occurring with, with uh, bullying. Commonly associated things like depression, violence, and fear, but also ones you don't often think about. Bullying has relationship with psychological distress, and psychological distress has relationship with premature birth. Hassan also found direct links between bullying and autism, learning disorders, and ADHD, to name a few. That's all evolved over the past 20 years. More and more uh, things are coming to the picture. In 1995, the only concept really found to be linked with bullying was aggressive behavior. Now the pool is a lot bigger. There's also just a lot more research done now than before. Hassan says it's all case by case for different bullying victims, and with no humans involved right now, it still needs more studying. It can be a very uh, interesting starting point for doctors to start their research. What the study does not look at is cyberbullying. Hassan wants to add that data next, and a study of that size will require the help of ORNL's supercomputer. Robin, John. Shannon, thank you.